every baby welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is echo and i am a little space content creator so for today's video i thought we could talk about a topic that is rarely ever mentioned menstruation or periods in little space can you still go into little space while menstruating this is really up to you some people may not be comfortable with going into little space while on their period and there's nothing wrong with that however i'm assuming if you're still watching it's because you do want to go into little space regardless and there's nothing wrong with that either. So first things first, let's talk about how to manage the messiness that comes with menstruation. If you're a diaper lover, then I just recommend wearing a diaper. But if you'd still like to wear something that's a little bit more discreet but still makes you little, then I recommend Always Discreet Boutique. They're essentially uh, diapers for adults that are more socially acceptable. <laughs> They're very comfortable, absorbent, and even come in cute designs. I've actually stopped using disposable period pads a long time ago, and I've never really been comfortable with using tampons. But if those are things that you feel comfortable using, then feel free to continue using them. I would like to recommend switching to reusable period pads just because they're more eco-friendly, comfortable, absorbent, and they come in so many different sizes, shapes, colors, patterns, all that good stuff. My period has always been very unpredictable, heavy, and irregular, and my reusable pads have never let me down. You can also use a diva cup, but I'll be completely honest here, I have absolutely no knowledge of that product, so I can't really talk much about it. Um, but if you know about that, feel free to comment your information down below. The next topic I'd like to discuss is going to be all about dealing with aches, pains, and comfort while on your period. Period cramps can be so heckin' painful. Sometimes it's really difficult to do important adult tasks when you're on your period, so it's understandable if little space isn't really on your mind. For cramps, I recommend cute heating pads. Personally, I like the brand Warmies. I have my own Warmie. She is a manatee. I don't have her right now. She's spending some time with a family member of mine, but I'll put her picture here. She can be microwaved for warmth, put in the freezer to be cold. She has a slight scent of lavender, and they have a little bit of weighted, like a weighted feature to them, so they're very, very comforting. And, well, the fact that they're stuffies, really, really helps put me into the mindset of little space. Cuddling up to your favorite stuffy or biggest stuffy can definitely help um, with getting cozy when you're not feeling so good. I know personally I love to get all cuddly during these times and unfortunately my daddy isn't always around to be like my gigantic stuffy. So I just cuddle my stuffies if you're a fan of tea, then I have heard chamomile tea can really do wonders. Put it inside of a cute mug or maybe a bottle or sippy cup after it cools down a bit. That will definitely make you feel small and it'll help with your pains. And don't forget to grab your softest, coziest, and fluffiest blankie for extra snuggle power. Little tip for the caregivers watching. Set up a play tent or a playpen or blanket fort, then fill it with pillows, stuffies, and blankies. That way you or your little can feel safe and comfortable enough to enter a little space even while on your period or their period. Queuing up your favorite cartoons, movies, songs, or games to keep you entertained and keep your mind off your period. I recommend Bluey. There's plenty of free live streams of Bluey on YouTube and there's a ton of Bluey episodes on TikTok, and I'm sure you can find other cartoons online for free as well. And there's actually quite a few free kids movies with ads on YouTube. I actually have a secret free movies and TV shows playlist. It's in my description. Good luck finding it though, it's super hidden. I'm just gonna throw in a little self-promo plug here, but friendly reminder that I do have an entire playlist of Little Space storybook readings, and I feel like that might be a perfect activity for this kind of a situation. Now, as for snacks, which is super, super serious, I know that chocolate can actually help with tummy cramps. I also really enjoy water crackers, teddy grams, and fruit. Honestly, any snack can be made into a Little Space snack with the right equipment. Like maybe a baby snack container, a cute bowl, 
or plates and I'm sure you can find all of these things from a budget-friendly store like the Dollar Tree or Five Below. So the last thing I want to mention is to take it easy on yourself. There's no shame in having your period. There's nothing wrong with not wanting to belittle during and there's nothing wrong with wanting to belittle during it. Everyone's little space is different and unique to them. As long as you are taking care of yourself and not harming anyone, you're doing great. And you are a valid little no matter what. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that I was able to be of help in some way. <laughs> Feel free to comment your own advice and tips down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in my next little video. Bye bye!